out the mess. Drop it in the water, let the daughter find her image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. You understand me. Walk her down the valley. Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach. Like the angels do, and you gon' make it through now. Tell about the healer. Greater is the one within and call him as the leader. Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky. And I'ma wait upon the giver. He'll deliver like a dealer. To take her. Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in. Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming. Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running. And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up. You're with the army, ready when the truth act up. Nothing can harm me. Yelling from the roof, I touch, but up the guarding. Count to ten, lions then speaking with the higher pen. Can't be touched by fire. Fast forward to the grown things now. I'm working on them soul things now. Forgiving all your old ways, but it's harder on the cold days. Cold days. Never been a product of a flawless environment. Never acted like I'm higher than you, 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 you. And I still pray. Won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away. Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I need to get away. Cause I would rather be, rather be running away. I would rather be, rather be running. Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I. I know it's been a little while, but I gotta let them know. Yeah. Gotta let them know. If you ever been down, opportunity to grow. Yeah. Opportunity to grow. I know you having trouble understanding it. If you trust in God, He got His hands in it. I promise to protect you like a slam in it. He don't get the glory if the man did it. You gotta stand with him. I know. Yeah. Life gets hard and it feels like it's no way.
I started revealing this revelation, I had to upgrade the title. It's gonna be trading faith. It's gonna take you trading. Hey Battle Bays, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and it is Saturday morning. It is about 1040. No, oh, just hit 1046 on a Saturday morning and yeah, I woke up at like, I won't lie, I woke up around like 5.30ish, but I kind of laid there before I decided, hmm, I want to start vlogging. So I started vlogging like around 6 something because I had the urge, like I woke up with the strongest urge, the strongest desire to clean. <laughs> I don't know why clean so that's what i did i just cleaned the entire house the entire upstairs downstairs all of that i was even going to go and clean my car but um yeah it's cold outside it's super oh excuse my appearance please at least i brushed my teeth and washed my face this morning so i'm gonna count that as a win my skin is clear i'm not having any active breakouts but the few breakouts that i did have like here and here y'all no matter what when I get a breakout, even well, actually, I do have a few breakouts here in my eyebrow. But no matter what, if I break out, even if I do not touch it, it's gonna heal as a scar, unfortunately. So now I gotta figure that whole thing out again on how to kind of lighten up these scars that I now have on my face from these breakouts. Anyway, yeah, I was gonna go and clean my car, but yeah, it is so gloomy outside. Look at that. <clears throat> I don't even know if you can see that. But it's so gloomy outside it's so rainy it's freezing first of all it should not be that cold that's the only reason why i came upstairs is because it was so cold downstairs that i couldn't even stand it i have the heat and everything on in here it's like it's supposed to be 85 degrees downstairs but it's not getting any warmer than like 70 something and it was just too cold so i came back upstairs mm -mm. Mm -mm. i usually like this weather that's why I have like all the lights down. I have my candles and like the rooms and stuff lit. Like it's just a vibe in here right now. I got my ring light over here on, on the lowest setting just so I can have a little bit of extra light in here. But it's just still cold and I don't like that. So yeah, anywho, anywho, I wanted to start this vlog because I am going into the new week studying like crazy because if you don't know, yet or if you haven't seen any of my past vlogs or if you are new here i'm andrea i'm an lpn and i'm also a respiratory therapist mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um i am a certified respiratory therapist and if you're in the respiratory therapy space you kind of know what i'm talking about but i want to be a registered respiratory therapist and in order to do that you have to take the TMC and the TMC is a test that you take to get licensed or certified or however you want to specify it. But there's a certain score that you have to get. So when I took it last time, I got an 82, which is the bare minimum you have to get in order to get certified. Trust me when I say, yes, that's the bare minimum score that you can get, but it's not simple. It is, it, that's, it's not easy. You get what I'm saying? Like passing the TMC is not an easy test to pass. Okay. So in order to get so that's that's just passing the test now you have to pass with high cut in order to even have a chance at the rrt and high cut is getting a 92 and above on the test i got an 82 just go watch my last um Go watch my last video about me testing and taking the um tmc again i think i've titled it like fail the tmc again question mark or something like that I explained a little bit more there why I feel like I didn't get high cut, but this time around, I feel like I have a really good chance. And then once you get that 92 and above, you are still a certified respiratory therapist, but you qualify to sit for the CSE, and that's the clinical simulations exam. And that's the exam that you have to pass in order to get the, the, the title registered respiratory therapist. So that's what I'm going for. Um, I took my test back on December 14th and it's so crazy because I'm taking it again on March 14th. Um, so yeah, I've been going over calculations. I've been trying to get like memorize the normal values and stuff a little bit more. Just getting the, I, um, the, the topics and stuff, just, just studying more, honestly, just studying more. And I'm just hoping I've, I've done enough to get my high cut. I don't know. We're going to see. So yeah that's where i'm at right now i keep telling myself 
I'm gonna keep trying. If I don't get it, I'm just gonna keep trying because I really do want my RRT. Yes, I did get accepted into nursing school. I also want my RN, my registered nurse, but that's for other reasons. That's for my end goal. Respiratory therapy plays more into my end goal. Yes, I need my nursing to get to my end goal. And that's the only reason. Like if I was able to hit my end goal without having to do nursing first, I would. But because I need nursing to get my end goal, that's what I'm doing. But respiratory therapy plays a little bit more into the roles that I would be doing in my end goal. And it gets me closer to the people that I need to be shadowing and the people that I need to be speaking to about that. So that's why I want to invest more into being an RT. So that's a little bit just a little bit of background just a little bit of background so yes i wanted you guys to come along with me because like i said it is the weekend i'm about to go ahead and start studying and stuff like that oh i actually y'all let me show y'all my packet <laughs> actually i have to edit a video um so the way i'm studying i'm studying so the main thing I've been studying is the respiratory therapy boot camp. Um, I, you, you guys seen clips of that. Um, hold on, I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up real quick for y'all because I have it opened anyway. So this. Let's go home. That right there. So that has been the, this is honestly the main thing that I've been studying and I feel like this is the reason I even passed the test on back in December. And so I finally have all the formulas and stuff like that and the calculations and stuff here. So that's what I've really been focusing in on. So yeah, that's that's really, really been helping. I love this so much. So, um, hold on y'all. <laughs> So I'm just going to be going over that a few more times. I've also, I have this Lindsay Jones, um, this little TMC review sheet here, just to kind of brush over, kind of like looking at it like flashcards, kind of like a muscle memory thing or like a visual type of thing. But then I also got Kettering here. So I'm just going over the Kettering audio just in case he says something that, you know, might um, jog my memory or things like that. So... I want to go over the patient assessment again, which is a big portion of this book, just listening to the audio. But yeah, as far as like really diving into Kettering, I haven't been doing that, neither with like Lindsay Jones. I just been focusing on the respiratory boot camp, the TMC boot camp, because when you you've already done this stuff in school, like this is the this is your baseline. So you should know these things already. And again, with the 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 ideas and the topics and the disease processes and stuff like that i'm pretty familiar with and this kind of just hones in on how you take the information that you already know and apply it to the test so while i am listening to these things just so i can brush up on what it is that i already know this is really helping me take the test and so that's why i've really been studying over this and then i have been doing the calculations but I ended up printing off a bunch of the um, like two of each sheets because along with the calculations he has a video to show you how to do it as as well y'all I'm sorry I'm stuttering right now I can't even talk but um, he has a video so he has a video he shows you how to he walks you through how to do the different calculations and stuff like that but it also has a worksheet on there so I ended up printing off two worksheets each which is why this packet is so thick so i'm gonna go ahead and work through a bunch of these um a bunch of these worksheets today yeah i'll probably yeah i'm gonna work through as many of those as i feel like today and then um yeah that's that's pretty much what i've been doing oh and then i also have these tests let me see okay no this is actually just one test it was just too much to staple together so i'm also going to be going over this test and what this is it's um 
it's one of the exams that you can get off of the TMC website and it's basically one of the tests that they used in the past or something like that. So you can take the test, go over it, answer it, and then it has the um, answers with the explanation at the end. So just reading through these just to kind of get an understanding on how the questions are going to be formulated when you are taking the test. So it's a bunch of different things that go into um, trying to make sure you have all the information that you need hold on y'all where is mine because i almost forgot i made some flashcards as well for my normal values but yeah like i was saying it's just a bunch of different things that you need to do it's a bunch of different stuff that goes into just preparing yourself for this test because i'm gonna tell you right now take it from someone who's taken the nclex before this test is so much harder than nclex and that's just my opinion. Now, I haven't taken the new NCLEX. I will be soon. Well, next year soon. But as far as the NCLEX versus the TMC, so much harder. It's so much harder. So I'm just trying my hardest. I'm just doing what I can. And like I said, if I don't pass with that 92 this time around, I'm going to just take it again. I'm going to just throw it right back on the calendar. And I'm just keep going. And I'm going to keep going until I get it. So... Yeah, that's just the start of my day. I just wanted to start a vlog off, let you guys know what it is that I'm doing, my journey to RRT, and how I'm studying. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, but I did want to show y'all something real quick. Because when I say I, I, I'm going to, what, 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 what words am I looking for right now? I can't express to you how much the boot camp has like really helped me because listen to how he hold on i just want y'all to hear shift gears just a little bit because plural disease why i loved how he broke down hold on i love how he broke down the cardio the chest radiographs because when i say this is an area i struggle i struggle with it's so crazy and it's I don't know, y'all. I'm just in love. Like I cannot. I rave what about is this. The diagnosis? You're looking at an emphysematic chest X-ray here. So right. with the X-rays, if you have trouble on right. X-rays, this will really help. And then the other thing so was the pharmacology. Here. And there's two pharmacology lessons to that he have. Part one and part two. Out. Not to mention, it's like here, part one and part two. So you get a very strong. But the way he breaks it down the, uh, like this. Okay. So remember how beta 2 receptors look at that umbrellas that looks like it's so good in the way he i don't know y'all just know this is the reason i passed so i'm raving about it because if you are having trouble i would definitely try getting the um respiratory therapy boot camp the tmc boot camp so again it is this here so good it's so good Hey y'all, what's up? They want to spend it with their family instead of going to more dialysis. And now here they are, five days. I don't think I just watched this one. Oh, geez. It is Monday morning, and I'm actually getting a late start. I didn't do much. These are like these are my absolute least favorite scrubs. So that tells you how my morning is going right now. I meant to wake up way earlier than I did. I was just so tired. I think I was just up too late studying. And now I'm all over the place. I can't even. Hold on, y'all. Let me put my freaking shoes on. I don't even have my tripod up here. Yeah, I think I was just honestly up way too late last night. And I'm, I don't know. And it's so crazy because I went to sleep studying, right? And I woke up this morning immediately with the fact that I feel like I don't have any of the knowledge that I need in my head to take this test. Like, I didn't even feel like this last time I took the test. I felt like I could at least recall things right when I start thinking like, okay, respiratory therapies, TMC, what's it like? I could come up with something. And right now that ain't happening. I'm coming up with blank. You know what? Hold on. These are my perfumes of the day. I'm putting on this Wee Melrose Place. This one be smelling so nice, so fresh and so clean. You see that? That one there. And then I'm putting this, uh, which one is this? I can never, Pink Sugar, that's what it is. Um, I'm putting this one on my jacket, so. 
I already sprayed the Melrose. Just spray this to sweeten that up a little bit. And for breakfast, y'all already know, I'm just gonna go to McDonald's, grab two hash browns and a orange juice. She's gonna put on. Oh Jesus, I'm gonna wear these on clouds today. Y'all, I have so many of these, but I'm gonna be honest, I need to clean them. And I want a few more. <laughs> There's a new color that came out. Uh, and it just looks so cute and I need it. Speaking of shoes, I also need to buy some, what is it? Um, Some leather black no slip shoes for school. And I think I found the ones that I want. Some thick ass hokas, but oh, I'll probably get those. I'm gonna try them on first. I have to find a store so I can try them on first cause they seem pretty comfortable, but you'll never know. Okay, is this it? I have everything in my backpack. I'm also gonna be trying, I'm going to try my hardest. I really don't have a choice. I'm gonna go to the gym today when I get off. So these shoes are fine for that. And I'm just gonna throw this in my gym bag that I already have in the car because I have to do this uh, peak flow monitoring. My pulmonologist wants me to do my peak flow, take the numbers down before I start my workout. And then when I start getting like that burning chest pain and stuff that I usually get, then he wanna see where I'm at with that. And so I'm gonna do that for about a week. So I actually don't have a choice. That's my push this week to go to the gym regularly, I guess. I got my backpack, I got my ring, my phone. Y'all, I'm really trying, oh, my packet because I have my physical today. And that is it. Y'all, also, hold on, let me get this situated. Also, I ended up um, finally finishing my, let's go, come on, let's go. It's time to go. Okay, I'm all over the place right now, this is crazy. Anyway, I also got to finish my CPR because y'all know with school. So I have CPR, PALS, ACLS, all that stuff. I feel like I mentioned that. But I I needed to um, get my CPR through American Heart Association. And so I did the online portion and I was going to wait because the guy wanted me to call him back when I finished the online portion. But it had gotten so late. He said he was working on the house. I'm like, all right. We can wait until Monday, y'all. I gotta clean the kitchen. That's gonna have to wait until we're gonna see about after work. Anyway, I think I'm done with that. But yeah, he called me yesterday, which was Sunday night, obviously last night. Um, and I'm like, oh, well, I was gonna wait until you were done. Like, I was gonna wait for the weekend. He's like, no, we can do it right now. So, all right, Sam. I'll be back later. basically your normal target area I mean, think about one being normal as you go higher than one then the risk of bleeding becomes more a concern so they use this actually to help figure out how much anticoagulants that, that is correct and therapeutic for a patient <sighs> yeah I am tired already already it is only 9 30 in the morning I basically just woke up so why am i this tired already <laughs> anyway um hold on yeah i just i need to i hate seeing junk in my car anyway so i just left my behavior health appointments and um i'm sweaty i am so sweaty why do i wear these scrubs um let me get my life together for a second. I had a really good session today. Um, we didn't really, it was actually like, it was there, like I was, it wasn't treatment. Okay, let me put it that way. It wasn't a treatment session for like PTSD, trauma, stuff like that. It was actually a 
therapy session where we are trying to get to the bottom of my stress because y'all let me run this by y'all because i know for a fact that i'm not the only one that be experiencing this i'm not the only one that goes through feeling like this is there anybody else out there that feel like you cannot take a break i know i was talking about this a little bit i think probably in my last vlog i'm not sure but y'all i really feel like i don't have a good stopping point like i can't take a break i'm so scared to take a break because if i feel like if I take a break, if I stop even for a moment, I'm going to be so behind because I feel like I'm already behind. Like I keep saying that I feel like I'm in a rush and I don't understand why I feel like I'm in a rush because I don't know. I have no clue. So I see two different um, providers and the one that I was um, talking to today is the one that manages my medication as well as the one that's helping me with my stress management and my anxiety. Okay. So, hold on, because my lips are dry. Let me tell y'all how I'm feeling. I am in a process where I feel like up until, honestly, up until the point of meeting my husband, I feel like I wasn't really living. I wasn't really enjoying my life. Just hear me out, just hear me out. Before I met my husband, I was always the, oh, I'll do that when I'm done with this, or I'll do that, I'll, I'll finish that, I'll do this when I accomplish that, I'll i'll buy this when i get that or it was always waiting for something like i was always waiting to do the things that i wanted to do because there was more important or pressing pressing things that i needed to be doing and here i am i look up 30 years old and a lot of the things that i wanted to do it's it's like i put my life on hold y'all look how sweaty i am it's like i put my life on hold and I have nothing to show for it, if that makes any sense. Like, yes, I have beautiful kids and things like that, but outside, like I want to be my own person outside of being a mother and outside of being a wife. And I couldn't figure out if that was me being selfish or not. So that was another part of it. Like the thoughts and stuff that I'm having, am I just being selfish at this point, right? So that was a part of it, that's a portion of it. Now the next part, like I was saying before, is not being able to take a break. So me, being accepted into nursing school i know my end goal i know my end goal and i know what it is that i want to do but i feel like i cannot take a break like i have when i say my plan i have it planned out down to the year down to the moment down to the semester to get where i want to get and i feel like if i even try to take a break it's over with everything's going to fall to shit and i have to keep on it and i feel like a, a lot of that stress it's coming from the fact that I know I'm on it. I know that I'm doing the things that I'm supposed to do. I'm doing my part, but I'm also having to manage everyone else and keep my foot on their necks because they're not doing their part. They're not doing the things that I need them to do to keep everything together. Stuff like that, it's like, that's even more stressful because I'm like, if I don't get this, that's it. If I don't get this, I'm gonna get kicked out of my slot. Is driving me crazy that's that part that's the part that I'm that's another part that I'm stressed out about and I'm just telling y'all all the little compartments of stress that I have right now right all the little compartments so just 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 bear with me because this is my mind and this is why I'm in therapy right now for this I'm a certified respiratory therapist and I want to be a rest a registered respiratory therapist so I've been studying y'all know I take my test in a few days but when I say studying has been consuming me and it doesn't make sense like it does not make sense as to why I'm stressing myself out so much over this because I have the material I this it this, the same material that I'm going over is the same material that I went over when I passed the test the first time yet I'm stressing myself out, out, out over it right so last night <laughs> last night I ended up so yesterday I took a nap and that's another thing that my body still does I talked to y'all about this is when I'm so stressed out my body just shut it down my body be like yeah you doing too much right now you putting way too much stress on us so it just shuts me down and sends me to sleep I just go to sleep for hours for hours and so um when I woke up yesterday it was like three o'clock y'all it wasn't refreshing at all because I woke up in a panic like I just wasted so much time like all this time I could have been studying I could have been like I'm stressed I'm like why the fuck did I go to sleep I'm, I was so mad 
at myself for going to sleep, for getting the well needed rest. Like I need it and I was so mad at myself for getting it. So now I'm just up and for the rest of the day, I'm just studying and I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, I have four days to take this test, but I still have all of the study material that I have to go over because I have that pack of formulas that I still have to get through. I have all of my boot camp that I still have to get through, about eight hours still worth. Then I still have the four hours of the Kettering that I still wanted to go through the patient, um, I think it's like the patient assessment portion that's like four hours and i'm here i am adding up everything i'm like okay if i just probably get through a few i'm just gonna do this tonight and then we're gonna go to sleep because mind you at this point it's already 21 40 something right so it's late it's late let me this is i'm just telling y'all what i be putting myself through because it's late as i'm looking at how much i still have to do i'm trying to split it everything up between these next four days four days starting yesterday so now i have three days don't stress yourself out over that don't don't do it it's okay you got this i got this y'all i got this but last night i was like i don't have enough time y'all when i say i went through two and a half hours and mind you i started this at nine ish well three ish but then once i finally got back into like my work like the the boot camp and stuff like that i did about two and a half hours of um modules like the the videos and stuff that i was watching um i went through eight of the formulas and then was so mad at myself because my brain was just so tired i couldn't do the 10 that i wanted to do so i was irritated with that uh, and so at this point <laughs> it's almost it's like past 12 actually it's like so I'm like all right I'm exhausted I'm actually tired and I actually really need to go to sleep right now I go y'all I kid you not I go to lay down I'm all comfortable turn off the lights and everything close my eyes and I woke up immediately like open my eyes immediately like fuck I forgot to go over my normal values y'all while I get up and I start going through the flashcards like I just need to I need to go to sleep with this in my head I just need why am I doing that to myself why am I doing that to myself and I keep telling myself what's a good stopping point like what is a good stopping point I can't operate like this for the next let's say this is going to take me six years i can't operate like this for the next six years i'm, um, I'm i don't know that if the stress don't kill me i might swallow a few bullets i don't know we gonna see but at this point i need to figure something out because no one is meant to operate like this so i'm trying to find a way to just manage everything you know without it feeling so consuming because people go to school every day and drill why is it so stressful to you it, it feels like it feels like doing this for me is like it's life or death you have to do this and it's it shouldn't be that way school right now is so consuming it's a it's a full plate like i have a full plate on top of the fact that i am still active duty i still have to work and things like that i want to enjoy my life because remember when i was telling y'all that i um, I didn't really start enjoying my life until I met Trey. I started going to different states. I started like just for fun, not because I needed to go and work or anything. I was just going for fun, trying new foods, going to like, like just doing stuff. To this day, I still never been on vacation. Like I've never taken a vacation. Y'all, I have so many leave days all the time. Like right now I probably have like 70 ish leave days. And I always have so many leave days all the time because I just genuinely don't take leave. I just be, I just be in survival mode, I guess, when I don't even need to be in survival mode because I can't sit there and say it's hustle culture. I'm on a grind because it's not like I'm enjoying the fruits of my labor, if that makes any sense. So, hear me out. When I when I started doing the things that I was doing when, you know, at the age of 30, I with Trey, obviously, I was having so much fun. Like I was at, at, I was at peace. I was having fun. I was spending my money and doing things that I wanted to do like for myself. And a part of that comes from the fact that I got pregnant really young, y'all. Y'all need to understand. I was 17 years old in high school when I got pregnant and I had my son a little bit after turning 18. So I, 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 on top of having my baby young, I had to do a lot of the things that grown ups had to do young, even before I, I ever had a kid. 
So I just feel like I had to grow up faster than I had to grow up. And that's kind of what put me in that survival mode. It's like going through a lot of the stuff that I went through as a teenager, some a young adult being in my early 20s, being in my late 20s, things like that. It's like I didn't have a choice but to be in survival mode because it was, it was such a long period in my life where I... How do I put it? Where I, I, I couldn't... I didn't have an option to do the luxurious things. I didn't have the option of having excess funds. I didn't have the option of having free time to go and hang out. I didn't have, I wasn't able to do these things. So I wasn't able to enjoy my life. And because I didn't get a chance to even experience it, I didn't realize that I was even missing anything. So turning down a fun time or doing these, like it was easy to not want to do these things because I wasn't missing it. I didn't crave it. If if am I, I hope I'm making sense. I don't know how to really articulate that, but when I started, and it's so crazy because one year changed my entire mindset. One person in one year changed my entire mindset. And when I started doing all those things that I was doing with him, and mind you, within this time, I don't have the kids. I need y'all to understand when I, I've been a single mom since I was 18 years old after I had my son. And I've always been mom up until the point I went to 68 Victor or Respiratory Therapy School because I ended up sending my kids with family members so I can focus on school. So at that moment, June of 2022, that was the first time in years from, from the age of 18 up until the age of 30. That was the first time I got to just focus on me if that makes any sense yes I still have my responsibilities of being a mom but I for the first time in all of that time I had the free time to actually explore myself learn myself like do things for myself as a as, as me you it, it doesn't make sense so once I got a chance to like enjoy myself and just explore and just do these things I was just like I've this is so fun, like this is so peaceful. Like I'm not worried about anything, I'm not doing anything. The funds are there, the, the, the ambitions are there. Like for the longest time, I wasn't doing any of that. So now that I, I know what it feels like to be on vacation, I know what it feels like to go and just go to a state and have fun. I know what it feels like to be able to just sit down at a restaurant and, and enjoy a new pastry or enjoy a new drink or whatever the case may be. And these are small things, y'all, because I've still never been outside the United States. These are small things that I got a chance to explore and, and, and feel. And this is the first time I got a chance to experience myself outside of being a mom outside of having to be in that role all the time so with that being said now I feel like I wasted so much time because here I am I'm, I'm in my 30s now right and don't get me wrong this is just my mindset I don't I know logically I know I have all the time in the world logically I know I still have so much time to enjoy my life but the anxiety filled stress filled me is telling me that i'm running out of time so on one hand i have these goals that i want to accomplish and it's going to take a, about six years for me to get to this goal and that's me being on a very strict timeline with myself and everything going the way it should minus a few inconveniences maybe so this is going to take up all my time but over here I want to finish enjoying my life like I want to finish traveling and exploring and doing these things with my family with my kids with my husband I want to I want to do these things so how do you balance the two because I don't want to I don't want to say waste this time because this wouldn't be a waste of time but I don't want to go through all of this and then miss out on all these experiences and stuff that I could have had so I feel like every is that am, am I making sense like I hope I'm making sense all the realizations like knowing what career I want knowing what I want out of life knowing what I want my life to look like knowing the things that I want to do everything came colliding at once and I'm like how do you find the time to do everything like how how do you find the time to do everything without it consuming you without you feeling so busy and overworked all the time is I just don't know I just don't know <laughs> The last component of where this stress is coming from is the fact that y'all, I do want another child. 
I do want another child with my husband. I want to experience that, but I had to put that on hold, obviously, because of school. Now, I'm 31 years old. Time is ticking, okay? Time is ticking. Again, what's a good breaking point? Like, what, like when, when does that come into play? When, when is a good time? Like, when should I feel okay with taking on that extra responsibility? You get what I'm saying? Like, I know, I know time is, it's never a perfect time, but I'm still looking for a perfect time, if that makes any sense. So as of right now, like obviously one of my goals, if you guys saw my 24, 2024 goals list, getting, you know, having a baby was one of my goals. Getting pregnant was one of my goals because me and my husband had tried for so long, nothing happened, which was so crazy to me. And so when I decided to put it on hold, it's like, okay, so now I'm on birth control. Not only am I on birth control, I am suffering with this birth control constant bleeding i'm not saying t tmi we're grown here constant bleeding constant cramping um they can't even find the strings they're not sure if it's even in the womb the correct way like it's it's like now i'm thinking to myself i have to struggle and stress and go through all this pain for the next one to two years for the sake of keeping this birth control in or do i just take it out and leave it in god's hands and let him take care of it what do I do? What do I do? I don't know. I don't know. I'm low-key back at square one when it comes to my stress and anxiety, y'all. Um, but on a positive note, suicidal thoughts non-existent right now. Um, yeah, for the past few months, I haven't had those issues. I haven't been feeling like super worthless, super hopeless. I just been trying to figure it out. Trying to figure it out, so. That's enough of this rant. <laughs> I just need clear. I just I just ask for a clear view, a little bit more clarification on what direction I'm supposed to go in. I'm just asking you for a little bit of guidance. I'm just also asking for even a simple peace of mind, like just a small peace of mind. I'm talking something where when I lay in bed at night, I'm not so consumed with needing to study or needing to research or needing to prep something. I just want to lay and scroll and just be at peace. That's all I'm asking for for this week, Lord. Thank you, amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm about to go ahead and go and window shop for a little bit and then I should be ready to go back to work yes when, so here's my thing after my therapy sessions I don't jump right back into work life I don't jump right back in to the grind because you literally can't and I don't understand hold on y'all let me fix this oh jeez I don't understand how people do it when you go to therapy it's like Sometimes, depending on what it is, especially when I'm going through my um, PTSD um, trauma uh, treatment sessions, like actually going under treatment, sometimes I feel like I got hit by a bus. Sometimes I feel like I got hit by a bus and I need to recover. Like I need to sit there for a little bit because I can't just focus my mind and jump right back into work immediately after what I've had, what I just had to go through. And the same thing goes with this, even with this just being just, the, just therapy just trying to work out my stress my stress management i still need some time to decompress on what i just had to send myself through because that's my brain on overload and so if any of y'all out there y'all experience the same thing where you feel the need to okay i'm done with this appointment let me go ahead and run no mm -mm. stop doing that y'all stop doing that take some time for your for yourselves even if it's because for me i take 30 minutes I'm gonna take 30 minutes between me working and going, you know, going to my appointment and then going back to work after I'm done with therapy. I'm going to go on a 30 minute break. I'm not gonna go right back to work because I can't. For my mental health, I can't. And I'm gonna be completely honest. If a chain, if you're, if that's something that your chain of command is gonna be down your throat about, I would definitely consider asking your therapist, like just explain everything to your therapist, your psychiatrist, and just be like, hey, this is my emotional state after I'm done with counseling. 
this is how I'm feeling emotionally after I'm done with counseling. I'm expected to go right back to work immediately after I'm done with this appointment and I just can't. Can you write me some type of slip? If it's not gonna be a whole 24 hour quarters, can you give me like 30 minutes of like quarters or something so I can get my mind back right and jump back into the fight because I don't know. I don't know. It shouldn't even take all that, but yeah. So that's my last thing. I'm about to go ahead and go window shopping. There's some perfume I want to go in, sample out at the PX, and I'm gonna see y'all later. Hey y'all, what's up? I am finally just getting back home. I I went to the gym earlier. Ooh, that was so bright. I went to the gym earlier. Um, after the gym, I ended up running to walmart so i can grab some eggs so i am currently boiling some eggs downstairs i really wish i knew where my tripod was mm, i have no clue anyway um i'm currently boiling some eggs downstairs so i can eat something real quick y'all i'm about to be so freaking tired what is that oh I'm about to be so tired tomorrow and I'm not going to have anybody but to blame but myself because why is it 22:44 and I am just now getting home and kind of getting situated. I mean, I guess I've been home for about 20 30 minutes like putting my eggs on and putting the stuff, putting some of the groceries that I bought in the fridge, stuff like that. But still like I need to be heading to bed. But the crazy part is I'm not even tired at all like not even a bit of like tiredness so we're gonna see how this work out anyway i just want to unpack this stuff real quick oh wait y'all after i'm done working out i like to use my well take my it's the strawberry shortcake protein powder that trey bought me and i tried it for the first time now i usually use milk i started off using water because trey used water I don't like that so then I started using milk and it was a little bit better y'all today I used half and half for whatever reason have no clue why I decided to try it with half and half but when I say it's so good thank me later try out protein with half and half it's so good anyway I'm wanting to just unpack this stuff and put this stuff away but I wanted to try this perfume perfume this cologne that I bought for Darion Oh, smell of the perfume. I thought it was me. I bought these little um, fragrance samplers off Amazon, and they actually come in really handy. I think it's I think it's a good investment. It's only a few dollars. Okay, y'all, listen. This is the box. I think I already showed y'all that. <laughs> And then this is what the fragrance look like. This is actually a really nice bottle. This looks beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Hmm. Now, there were so many people that absolutely swear by this fragrance. Like I said, it's kind of old. I don't know when it came out, but apparently it's one of the older fragrances. Oh, mm. yeah, I can see why. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fragrance. That's perfect for him. Wait, oh, okay, can y'all can you can y'all like sit still? Okay, okay, calm down. Can y'all like sit still? Just just sit still right there. Nobody knows me like you do. <laughs> Okay, so now next was the Guess uh, Seductive Om Blue. Is that how you say it? Is it Om? Ome? Ome? Sam, I'm about to be so tired. Nobody knows me like you. So once again, the box. The box is actually really pretty. This is such a pretty shade of blue. And as far as the fragrance, ba -ba, everything's square. Look at that. It's so nice. Oh, that's so cute. 
Hold on. What's that? Where's my phone? Sam. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. That is so spicy. It's so different. It smells like. I, I, yeah, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Should I let him wear this to school? Okay. Oh, my ears start ringing. Ugh. My tinnitus. I can still hear it. Go away. Get out of here. Y'all, when my ears, I'm probably talking loud now. <laughs> Let me wait for this freaking ringing to go away out of my ear. Let's see. What's next? <laughs> All right, it's gone. Um, Y'all, when I first started to get the ringing in my ears, am I the only one that would like try to cover your ears to try to block it out when the sound is coming from inside of your ear? It made no sense. I wanted to smell this again, but on a tester strip. No, not that one. Nobody helps me. Oh, gosh, I gotta sneeze. It's just so nice. It's such a nice perfume. And I think that is it. That's all. So, let me go and put all this stuff away. All right, y'all. I'm about to rush and, like, get in the shower, wash my hair, wash my face, do all those good things. What? What happened? Do all those good things so I can just... I don't know why you acting like that. I'll leave you in here again. <laughs> she mad cause I left her in the house all day. Anyway, I'm about to try to go ahead and get situated and get all my little things done. Um, oh y'all. <sighs> Look what I did. Look what I done done. I told myself I was never going to get one of these cups, right? But I found this color and I just fell in love with it. Look at this color. I don't even know which one is this. I think this is the, it's something green. I can't, all I know is look at this color. Look at this color. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, anyway, um, let me hurry up and go. Let me do, let me get situated, y'all. <laughs> Okay, let me just. Oh, I did it! I got hard cut. I got hard cut. You see that? Oh. Yeah, I got hard cut. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Y'all don't understand when I say. First of all, I did feel. Oh, it's hot. Let me turn on my car. I'm so. Oh my gosh, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Oh my goodness. I've taken this test. This is my third time taking this test and I finally got high cut. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. One more test to go. One more test to go. The freaking simulation. One more test to go, y'all. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm telling you right now. As I was taking the test, I did feel like it was definitely a little easier. Where's my phone? Let me turn on my phone. I did feel like it was it was a little easier, but y'all, let me tell y'all something. I thought, okay, the first test I took, there wasn't really a lot of um, calculations, like formulas, but there was, it's hot because... Let me get my life together. Just for a second. Just one second. I So last time I came here, I came here in December. And it was so cold. Like, it was freezing cold to the point I couldn't even get comfortable to take the test. And, um... My lips are so dry because they don't let you take anything in there. I was licking my lips like crazy, so I'm probably about to have a lip rash. But, um... Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, anyway, let me take this off. So... When I came last time, it was so cold, so I kind of overprepared and I put this my thick outfit on, thinking I was going to be cold. Y'all, it's hot. It's so hot, 
and it was even it was it wasn't that bad in there though like it was the perfect outfit for in there because it was a little cool when they turned on the ac but yeah now that i'm in this car it's hot anyway um so when i took the test the first time when i was still in texas um it took me i think i got like 76 the first time i took the test and there was a lot of NICU questions on there, but there wasn't a lot of formulas on that test that I had the first time I took it. Which is crazy because they specifically said, oh, don't worry about it, you're going to not have any NICU questions. So <laughs> nobody really went over anything NICU. And so, yeah, I didn't pass that test. And then the second time I took it, which was the one that I took back in December, on December 14th, there was not many NICU questions on that one but there was a lot of formulas i mean so many formulas was on that test and what i noticed is i had the information and stuff down like as far as the the, the knowledge based questions i had those down i just couldn't get the formulas so this time around i studied so hard on those formulas y'all y'all saw those that packet that i had i did all of those formulas over and over and over and over again y'all i when i say i had one one formula one just one formula on that test i'm like well did, i should have went m over more you know knowledge based stuff because there was some stuff in there that i was like what is this what are you talking about i don't remember seeing this anywhere where in egan's did you get this from because i don't remember it so yes but um, what did I do differently for this test? Because this time around, I did not run out of time. I, if you watch my last videos um, about when I took the test back in December, I ran out of time. And I felt like that's the reason I didn't get high cut that time is because I ran out of time. So what I did differently this time is, um, so last time, I went in with the game plan of, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the test. Any question that I don't know that I feel like I'm spending too much time on, I'm gonna go ahead and mark it and just move on. When it came time for me to go back to mark all these answers, I didn't even, I didn't have an answer in there. So I had to actually take the time to read the question and you know, basically I'm going from the start of the test. So I ended up running out of time, so I had to guess for a lot. This time around, I went in and when I say I read over the question once, I read over the question twice, if a answer didn't come to mind, I would just, I would still just click an answer. Like the first thing that comes to mind, and that's what I was going with. Like that's the, that's one thing I was going with is once I read the question, so let me back up because I feel like that goes more into because I studied a little bit more because as I'm reading the question, what they're asking me is already starting to kind of pop in my mind like okay i see what this question is going boom once i get to the end of the question i'm like all right got that even if i wasn't 100 percent sure about the answer i still marked it that way once i did go back and try to um either relook or answer questions and stuff at least i had something there so i didn't leave anything blank this time i just marked the ones that i probably would have left blank if that makes any sense so what else did i do um i was taking little breaks so i told myself okay let's go ahead and get to question 20. once we get the question 20 we're going to take a three minute break and then jump back into it so that's kind of what i was doing the entire test the entire test and then once i got like to 60 is when I would go back and do the ones that I kind of had um, I kind of had waiting for me I didn't wait until the complete end of the test I feel like the biggest thing that really helped me get my CRT now I'm about to get my RRT I feel like the biggest thing that really helped me was the boot camp was the boot camp I'm telling y'all I swear by that freaking boot camp I don't know what or how that man does it but he is such a good instructor the way he breaks down the um the the topics and like just the way he just breaks everything down and helps you apply it to taking the test because that that those are the things that kept popping into my head even if i didn't know the question i would see like little um i would see like kind of like key key terms or key phrases and i'm like okay I don't know this answer but i know if they're mentioning this it has to be one of these two and i'll kind of just do my best <laughs> so yes that's pretty much how i tackle this test and y'all now it's time to that is crazy that is crazy i got a 98 i'm so happy about that what i'm about to do now first of all i gotta call trey y'all i'm so excited about this 
so next test cse i gotta start practicing i gotta start studying and i'm gonna see y'all in a little bit i'm so excited i got hi guys hey y'all what's up it's a little bit later it is so much later listen i took a nap right so i took a nap and um that goes to show how stressed out i was taking this freaking exam because y'all i ended up i went to work i had to turn on my dimmer's eye um so i went and did that i went and grabbed some food and then i came home i so badly wanted to muster up the courage and energy not even courage the energy to go to the gym after the exam because that was the original plan is to go to the gym as soon as i'm done um with the test but since i had to go into work that was taking so much of my energy and i was irritated about having to go into work because that honestly could have waited until tomorrow um yeah so i just ended up getting some food going home and y'all i was still trying to like get up the energy to even clean the house and it just didn't happen i went to sleep i ate my food i barely ate my food i was that tired and i went to sleep and that was around closer to three o'clock y'all i slept until almost 1800 it is 1900 i took about a good hour when i woke up i felt horrible that's why i think my body probably thought i died and didn't even realize it i was asleep for so long <laughs> and so when i woke up i couldn't do anything but just lay there and scroll on my phone i felt that bad i was shaky my heart was racing and beating like crazy i was just mm -mm. i hate taking naps i they're never refreshing to me i don't know why my body insists on being so exhausted that i need a nap but don't appreciate it like okay anyway it's so ungrateful but um yeah so i got up i got ready to go to the gym because look today was a successful day y'all i took the freaking tmc i got high cut and i need to go ahead and follow through and keep up with this good day so i'm on my way to the gym i'm on my way to the gym i got on my little workout workout outfit so i have a workout split i'm supposed to work 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 i'm supposed to work out monday through friday and when i'm in a good headspace and when my schedule is healthy um i do pretty good and i do well and i love going to the gym it don't take me long at all i'll be in there work out for maybe an hour maybe an hour and a half an hour to an hour and a half that's as long as i be in the gym get in there get out and it's it's all good but it's so easy to get caught up in like life and fall off and then you fall off for weeks and then weeks turn into months and it's like are you are we gonna go um, weeks turn into months and it's like dang i haven't been in the gym in a long time then you start feeling like crap because you had a new year's resolution that you were going to work out not even a resolution a goal a goal that you want to turn into a habit and you let yourself fall off bro i don't know what this car in front of me is doing but if it makes me crash into this truck i'm not going to even be able to fake like i'm hurt i'm gonna be beating some uh, anyway so yes that's what i'm doing right now i'm about to go ahead and head to the gym i don't know if i'm gonna close this vlog out i don't even know how much footage i have for this um for this vlog but you know what i'm gonna go ahead and shut it down here because the main point was to get me through the tmc so we can see if i passed and i did so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and shut this vlog down here go ahead and comment down below and let me know what type of content that you want to see and don't forget to subscribe guys i have a goal to hit 10k by the end of the year and i feel like i can hit that goal with y'all help with y'all help i feel like i can hit that goal so go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already especially if this is the second video of mine that you're watching if you watched at least two videos of mine go ahead and subscribe I'm about to go ahead and turn my music on and speed to the gym. I'm about to be high off albuterol in this pre-workout. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Bye. You say nothing's wrong at all, baby. I say that we're falling off, baby. Maybe we just ain't been on the same page.